I'm sat here doing my pots <laughs> like you do. Sitting in the sunshine, enjoying the day. I was listening to Carl and Louisa. And Carl was talking about his realisation and things that has come up with him and he's he hit one of the hardest things to hit. He hit the nail on the head really in some ways. Grief is a collective it's a huge, huge collective trauma. <laughs> the amount of people carrying weights from everything that ever was that was ever familiar that then changed that they then lost the 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 grief that we carry that's intergenerational from that was passed down from our parents and our, our families and our grandparents that we we now carry today that that stacks up on top of our own grief and the, the things that we witness, the, the discrimination and separation in society. So much grief, so much heartache. And then all what we're witnessing with the current uh, goings on with the everything, like every aspect of life. And the more you watch TV, the more... <laughs> It hits you the more the world of phenomena can drag you in and it's like wow and the truth is it's got to such a, a huge giant mountain of grief that the only way through because we've hardened to it, we've disassociated from everything, from all that is. And we're, we're caught up in our own little worlds. Where fear is a massive thing that overrules most of our ways of being and our emotions and controls the, the general population. And it's, it's fucking scary, man. <laughs> it's, it's scary when you, you take into account all what is and all what has and all what's been and all what is now. And it's like, whoa, it's like a tsunami. So rather than take on that big, gigantic, huge picture that's just like, there's too much. I invite you to centre yourselves and just be where you are in the moment because whatever's going on, you have no control over what other people do, what other people think, how other people behave. It's not your responsibility. There's nothing that can be done about any of that. It's bullshit. But you can take responsibility for yourself. You can keep bringing yourself back to centre. Reminding yourself of where you are in the present moment. Remembering, like here, you can hear the birds. You know, you can see the sky. You can watch the clouds. You can maybe feel rain sometimes. Certainly not today so far can wash the pots and just be with the shiny bubbles and, and the water and, and the sensations of washing pots and really bring yourself back to the moment of where you are right now, where you're safe in this moment and the past is gone, the future isn't here yet but we are here and we're here now, here now with the pots, you know or here now with the children, or the drawing, or the just being. 
is a cool little mantra. I am safe. I am secure. I am grounded. I am safe. I am secure. I am grounded. I am safe. I am secure. I am grounded. And as you repeat this and you feel the earth beneath your feet, holding your feet, holding you, know that you're not alone and there is hope. And there is life. And there is a way to move forward. And only when you get yourself to that place of feeling truly centred can you start looking at working on your own grief and what things mean to you. And this is where you can slowly, as you work on yourself, it can help you drop your armour and raise your awareness so you can still remain safe, secure and grounded but in a, a whole new way, with a whole new vision a whole new way to move through life and whilst doing that you're then opening your heart to enable you to be able to hold space for others but up until then you go, you cannot hold space for others because you need to remain safe, secure and grounded and while the world's able to trigger you you're able to be triggered or activated or whatever and then you're coming from a place of fear and not able to fully tune into your truth just what you believe to be true and real in that moment which when you take away all those things that you think are real and true in the moment are not actually real and true at all so my heart is going out for all those grieving today which is virtually every single person on the planet my heart is big enough And I, I can love all these people. I can hold my heart open and hold space so that I can welcome you to meet yourself right where you are. And there is nothing wrong with any emotions. And It's good to shout and scream sometimes and it's good to cry and it's good to share your truth with what is. Because the more we're suppressing shit, the more we're not allowing things, and the more we remain in that disassociated state of being. So I invite you to centre today, to ground, to centre, to remember that I am safe, I am secure, I am grounded. And if you do nothing else today, try and just bring yourself back to centre. Keep bringing yourself back to centre. Because that's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. The rest can wait. It doesn't matter. Sending love.